So instead of a bad bottle of red tea, I have stomach flu! And with that, we'll open up the episode. This is Guy Christian Knight with Let's Play Lunar Legend. In the last episode, we got Kyle on our team. And uh, we're passing through Nanza again. But now we're going south. We haven't been able to go this way before to beat the Magic Emperor. How does everyone know about the Magic It hasn't been that long, damn it. <sighs> How annoying. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, we're passing through the south e um, exit of Nanza this time towards Marius. That's where we gotta go. Hey, J the Seska's with you. How unusual. I hope it doesn't rain. Where did that come from? <laughs> or even storm. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. God damn, I hate blue. And here are some enemies we've already seen. I'm gonna show this battle up because it's really the first battle we have with the fir with the full five party. Uh, yeah, this is. Although there will be changes with the party, I will note that this is pretty much the party that you'll be dealing with for pretty much the entirety of the game, the rest of the game. So it's best to get used to them now. Not that these enemies are any <laughs> trouble though. <laughs> Yeah, yay, he'll go, I'm in a death mob, yay. But, um, oh, wait, first, uh, let's go ahead and sh switch formation. I showed this before, but I won't show it again. Um, put Jessica in the back, since she's our healer, and put Kyle in front, since he's our other main attacker. And, um, wait, is this good for Is a human of the volcanoes, yeah. I'll find you one, okay. If you find a hot string, let me try it. <laughs> And let me go back for a second. I think I might have skipped an item. There is one item along the way here. Um, oh, I gotta find it. Alright. No, that's just a... Nah, I don't know. Shoot. I'll just go backwards for nothing. Ah, damn, I think. Yeah, let's just go forward. Screw it. This is like a heal gun or something. Or maybe... Ah, interruptions. Maybe it's here. Maybe go up here. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Heal drop. Oh, heal drop. Okay, heal drops are good. We want heal drops. Uh, heal 150 HP. Ah, Pascal, this is you said. Guard, guard women and children for free. Okay, that much is fine, but instead, snag all you can from the men. <laughs> Just who's, a, who's this man of justice? <laughs> yeah, oh, Kyle, hello. Thanks to you and your underlings, women and children can travel alone like this. Ha, the model of hypocrisy. What did you say? You just say that again. Head it out. Take your fight outside. We are outside! <laughs> oh, I wish I could be more dramatic. But, oh, God. This sucks how I feel right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just between those, cut that out. Cut it. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we won't have any more monsters. And we don't! Yay! So now we get to the southern part of the continent. Uh, Mario. Yeah, they just call it Marius. And we'll start in Reza, the only place we can go to. So yeah, Reza. I kind of like this place. Sorry. The, the music's kind of nice. A town built by guys who can't show their faces in daylight. And we'll find out about that detail right now. This is Reza. Tough, rough town, but great for getting in information. Whoa. Yeah. Whoops, sorry. Now, you okay? It really is a rough town. Hey, now, you missing anything? Huh? Ah, the dragonlings are gone! What?! The dragonlings, how dare they! I was afraid of that! I forgot to say it's a town of thieves! Yeah. Everyone, watch your belongings! Uh, Kyle, aren't you a little late to say that? This is big, so it'll take a while to find it. Let's go! <laughs> sure, change the subject, <laughs> So yeah, as soon as we enter Reza, we lose the greatest item in the game, the Dragon Wings. So, no more warping between towns. Uh, we don't spend a whole lot of time without the Dragon Wings. However, let's retaliate with our own stealing. Uh, going to this house, down this path here, you'll find a little blue treasure chest that has Dragon Feather. So, not quite the Dragon Wings, but close enough. If you've forgotten, Dragon Feathers uh, are basically Phoenix Downs. They revive characters if you use them. Alright, so there is, uh, I believe, one more item here. It's a little harder to get to because you have to give a little, like, yeah, like a little guessing. But, but yeah, there you go, Mental Drop. Uh, mental Drops heal all the MP of a character. It's a little hard to get to because of that off-screen crap, and yeah. 
So, after you've done all that, there's nothing else you can get yet, so head towards this restaurant here. And when we step inside, I bet that, that guy is not in the restaurant. Uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going into restaurants to tap up and chat up the luckless. Hey, look at the, over the table over there. Could it really be Uncle Leg? Well, really, is he really here? My god, that guy's a ninja, I swear. Oh, it's funny meeting you in a place like this. This town's a bit unpredictable. You better go carefully. Ah, we're too late. So, what got taken? Good luck getting it back. Ha! <laughs> I like his face, though. He's like the king. If I remember right, you come to meet the Red Dragon. Unfortunately, the Red Dragon's volcano can only be reached from the air. Any ideas? Nope, we can't just have uh, me flying over there. Why not? We can have you fight all the monsters. Ha stick a sword in your mouth and all that. Must be some kind of flying gizmo somewhere. Why not go find it, kids? I mean, I've, <laughs> I've got no idea what it'd be. <laughs> well, he's no use, so we can talk to this barkeep who is of some use. Hey, Kyle, you look frantic. What's up? Something valuable is taken from my friend here. Yeah, we're out to take it back. Your friend's a whiner, then. You and Reza, we have a rule against making robbery and burglary complaints. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Hey, don't talk like that. Ain't we friends? Anyway, it's not hopeless. There's a rule against stealing from other guild members. So if you and one of you is a guild member, the goods have to be returned. Hell, is that all we can do? Okay, so I'll join the guild. <laughs> How do I join? First, you gotta take the test. The test official is in Merirod now, so go to Merirod and find him. I guess that will be part of your test. You got to walk along the coast of Merirod Bay to find Merirod. Damn, how many times have I said Merirod? It's a, quite a long walk. Merirod's almost all the way to the Shiny Zone. What's the Shiny Zone? <laughs> it's pretty far. Well, we still got to go there, right? And right we do. So, Merirod is our next destination. And, yeah, understandably, it gets unlocked on the map, and etc, etc. However, there are some items that we can pick up here, uh, mainly two, according to this, um, guide that I'm looking at. I know I'm looking at a guide, but, like, it's hard to remember all this stuff. They don't sell very much, however, the katana is something that you want for Alex, uh, the B-word that, um, <laughs> Kyle is carrying is still his favorite, uh, the katana, yeah. The flail! Uh, flail is actually a hammer, and it's Jessica's alternate weapon. It boosts her attack by a lot, but it reduces her number of attacks by, um, you know, down to, well, by one. The claw is her multiple attack weapon, and the hammer is her single attack weapon. Basically, it's how you want your character to attack. Either multiple weak attacks, or single strong attacks. Anyways, uh, here's the defense person, and, uh, let's see... One specific character is like something really good from here. Oh yeah, here we are, the uh, bat rope. Uh, Jessica is the only one that can really uh, benefit from this, and you can also get a platinum wrist. Oh, hey, something for Kyle too, that's good news. And let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff, get back some of my silver. But yeah, the uh, bat rope for Jess, and then the... Well, I suppose if you wanted the flail, you could get that too, but then the katana for Alex, so... Yeah, once you get these items, you're, you're, you're set, really. I mean, there's an item shop down there if you really need it, but we don't. And, um, let's see, about nine-ish minutes. So, let's just go ahead and straight for, yeah, you can go to the spring right there, but there's nothing we can really do at the spring right now. So we're going to go straight to the Meteorod Woods. I always like the music. And so yeah, our second forest dungeon, it's a really, really small location though, so, so don't feel intimidated by it or anything. Uh, first chest contains a 2,000 silver, and if we go north up here, that's a dead end. We'll find our first monster! It's the no-brainer. <laughs> oh, I could make so many jokes on that. Ah, uh, can't remember anything about these guys. <laughs> that's kind of cool though with me as Rod, how it sprouts rings and the wings and the attacks. Can I kill one of these guys? There we go. Yeah, I need to attack the other one. Oh, critical. But it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, can just kill this guy? No. Damn it. <laughs> Way to make my life difficult. Yeah, she pays the price. <laughs> okay. Just get just dealt with. Just randomly a smart people, have them kill each other. Die. 
There we go, all done. And no level ups, alright, whatever. Alright, so we head up north here and we'll find this chest, which contains a lucky bandana! Uh, lucky bandana, I think only Nash can carry it for some god awful reason. Uh, just checking. Yeah, better than what I have, but yeah, boost luck by five, obviously. So, um, now in order to continue on, you actually gotta go all the way back to the beginning of the forest, which is a bit annoying. And Gorgons, I think. Yeah, Gorgons. Yay, I guess, and I got it right. <laughs> um, yeah, let's use some magic, maybe make this a little easier on me. Uh, Blizzard won't do much. So, Flame Arc. Uh, you would think with the name Gorgon, they would be able to turn your um, people to stone. I don't know if they do, though. I can't remember. I really need to start researching these enemies before I get on these uh, recordings. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Unless I'm really tired and all that stuff. I pretty much looked up what stomach flu is, and I've, I'm exhibiting a lot of the symptoms right now, so... I'll, hopefully I'll get healed up in a few days, or really, really soon. I mean, I don't have a test for... Oh, I don't have a test for like two weeks. I, th I thought it was three, but it turns out I have a final in Cell Bio Lab. Um, on the second week, so, eh. Alright, yeah, there's the entrance, so, at the entrance, head left, you'll w across the Scarab Wing, a very, very important item that, uh, well, that ah, Gorgons. The Scarab Wing, anyways, um, 2000 Silver. The Scarab Wing is the equipable accessory that allows you to find, um, uh, more, uh, more silver, I think. Either that or items, I, I think it's silver, I think there's an item that later on, eh. Oh, new enemy, good. Bad Buzz! Basically, a recolor of the Zottos that we fought with Kyle. Um, but yeah, Scarab Wing. Attach it if you really need silver. Yeah, it's silver. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Haha, <laughs> you barely did any damage at all. I thought you missed there, I thought it was the sound there. Alright, but yeah. If you want more silver, attach the Scarab Wing and you're good. But there is an item that allows it to be more common to collect actual items too, like um, heal gums and stuff like that. Uh, that'll be a little later, I guess. Just gotta get and kill this guy. There we go. <laughs> I like Kyle's pose there too. He's like, yeah. Um, let's see. No, it's right here actually. The Ben Tiara. An equivalent item, obviously, to only women. Yeah. Up oh, presents a mental guy too. Well, that's good news. So we'll equip it and leave the area. Before I uh, leave this area for good, though, uh, this is a little later. Yeah, after the actual recording. This is the last enemy that you can find in this area, the Hell Slug. Um, yeah, I'm training, so I naturally came across these. Kind of resistant to magic, I guess, or fire. Kind of resistant to everything, really. Am I not gonna kill any? Oh, critical! Yay! Ooh, <laughs> and a lot of damage. I'm gonna take out two of these guys, I think. Yep, two of these guys. Maybe I'll get lucky with Jess. And nope. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, nothing to these guys as well, I guess. Uh, ah, let's get Mia because I need her. Um, Mia and Kyle, I need their art, um, arts goddess to fill up. And Mia gets hers. Yeah, they have less HP than I thought. Alright, now that we're done with Merod, let's go straight to the only area we can access. Which is... Um, well, that boat town. I don't know. Uh, I'm really... I'm tempted to end the video now, but yeah, there's Merod. But yeah, let's just go ahead and see how much I can fit into here. Village of Boats! But yeah, that's Merod's... Um, thing going for itself. It's basically like that one town in um, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, which basically built all on boats and Kyle leaves us. Alright, so in order to get uh, your business done in Merod, um, yeah, I'm really tempted to end the video. <laughs> I'm like at right 50 minutes and stuff. Uh, go into this bottom boat right here and I uh, want to talk to this guy right here. The test examiner for the Thieves Guild? I think he's been over at the restaurant for a while now. God, I hope he doesn't mean the res restaurant. <laughs> hey, what do you think of this village? Nice, huh? My boat was built by my great 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 grandpa. He's too old. Go, I'll look him straight, whatever. 
Oh man, I really hope I don't have to go all the way back to Reza. Uh, let's see. Let's see, maybe it's this building? Oh, no, this is the item shop. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh, there we are, the restaurant sign. Even though you don't do anything at the restaurant whatsoever. And there he is. There's Kyle. Like, look at him. Not a care in the world. We should have kept an eye on him. Let's take him with him, Alex. Oh, you're finally here. I was about to explode. <laughs> this guy's a test examiner, so I've been treating him to a feast. He was happy to start talking about the kill. So easy to trick him. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about that one. Yeah, aren't you going to pay for this? <laughs> Alright, don't toss so loud. I was going to give him the slip. <laughs> I got all the info I need to pass the test. It's time to take the info to head to Damon Spire. It's south, across the Mirror Woods, right? And we received the Damon's memo, which allows us to get through the Damon's fire. This is pitiful. <laughs> and so yeah, the pink-haired guy. Urp, ugh, I'm full. What a sorry old guy. Yeah, he's gonna be sorry once he sees the bill. <laughs> yeah. All right, and um, that's pretty much all you have to do in Merod. You can go shop, and um, you know what? Let's go ahead and shop. I want to see what. Yeah, there's an old man now. That's what mommy said. <laughs> Uh, we can go ahead and shop, I guess, heal up for no reason. Um, yeah, so yeah, the, the item shop is the only thing here. They I think they sell accessories, though. Look, the mirror rod, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. The only thing of interest they sell here is the anger ring. Attack, attack is raised by 10, but it costs 12,000 silver, so... You might want to grind for some silver if you want to get that, and that's... Oh, wait. Angel Tear Resurrects. Oh my god, what am I saying about Dragon Feathers? Disregard what I said at the beginning of the episode. Anyways, this is, um, I'll wrap up the video here. I don't want to pick anything else. This is Guy Christian 9 with Let's Play Lunar Legend. And, um, yeah, you know what I all did. So, in the next episode, we'll be heading off to the Daemon Spire and take the Thieves Guild test. I'll see you then, guys.